Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanaman E456 here today, presenting to you all a new episode of Fan Game Fridays. As for this video, we are going to be trying out Sonic Brother Trouble from Marky Jester. So, if you would like to try this out for yourself, the link is in the description below. And as always, if you all would like to see this series weekly, show me and smash that like button. It looks like we're going to the like goal of 2,000 likes for this week's episode. As, uh, yeah, we're going to be getting into this, and uh, it's actually pretty interesting. So this game is supposed to have Sonic and his brother Manic as playable characters. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and showcase both of them in this video. But uh, let me know in the comments below for question of the day, what other fan games I should cover for this series. Because I actually wouldn't have known about this if uh, some people hadn't suggested to me down below. Um, I believe it was someone who actually worked on uh, the previous fan game we played. I can't recall his name, so my apologies on that. But um, thank you all so much for all the suggestions down below. As I actually have quite a few that I'm going to be uh, covering over the next few weeks, so very excited about that. But anyway, we're gonna go and get into this right now. Make ourselves, uh, s okay, uh, I guess play? Uh, oh, and then we can decide here if we wanna play with just one of uh, the brothers or both of them. So we're gonna go and uh, set it to both. And uh, yo, look at this. We got ourselves a hub world here. This looks sick. And is he like on a, yeah, doesn't he actually have something like that? He has like a flying board. Now, I just want to say this right now. I did not really grow up watching Sonic Underground. Um, I don't know much about that series at all. So if I'm pretty clueless about this, you know, yeah, you know why. But um, from what I remember, it's basically about, uh, you know, Sonic and his mother will be found. Sonic Underground. <laughs> basically, that's all I know about the show. So... You know, I can't really say too much about, Oh my god, I would love that series as, as a kid! Like, no, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna lie or anything like that, because I have no idea what it's about. But, um, yeah, uh, this actually plays a lot like Mega Mix. So, you know, Sonic has a super peel out and everything. Um, we also have ourselves the, um, what is it, the homing attack and everything, which is really, really awesome for getting through stuff really fast. Bruh, look at this. Wow, okay. I'm gonna actually charge this up while we have invincibility so we can just blaze through this as fast as possible. Okay, whoa, that was close. Dude, and I love how rapid, like, uh, the homing attack is. It's just, like, so instant, like, bop, 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 bop. You know, way, way, way better than, uh, what we got in, like, Sonic 4 and all that stuff. Mega Mix was such a good fan game, for sure. Anyway, yeah, that was it for Act 1, so, uh, I guess, are we supposed to go to, that's Act 3, so let's... But that says Act 2, too. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just play this first, because it says Act 2, so... Alright, let's go. But yeah, it's like so weird that uh, it's like all placed differently. Like, you'd think that it would all be placed in order, but... I don't know, I guess they just do that so you can kind of explore the, uh, you know, the, um, the hub world and all that stuff. And it's not really too much there or anything like that. It's kind of like a Super Mario Bros. 3 kind of like hub world to where, you know, you're not really exploring through it. Like, you know, it's Sonic Unleashed or something like that. But, you know, you can kind of go on little pathways, I guess. And who knows, maybe we'll run into, like, enemies later on or whatever. But, geez, this game is so fast-paced. I like this. <coughs> Plus, the music's actually pretty good. I guess it's, like, remixes of, like, other songs in the past, like Emerald Hill Zone right here. But, uh, sounds awesome. Alright. Well, what is going on here? Okay, I actually want to hit that real quick. Thank you. Whoa! Holy crap! That was really, really close. <laughs> oh, and there we go. Wow. That was easy. So that was it for Act 2 there. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to be playing with Manic in just a second because he actually has his own, um, repertoire of moves and... From what I read, it's actually quite interesting. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Um, intrigued by how he plays in this game. Because uh, I haven't really seen any... Whoa! Huh? Ah! Bruh! Bro, holy crap, the butt pucker of a century right now. That was actually insane. Okay, so it looks like he's actually, yeah, that's um, the drumstick, because, you know, Sonic's not in a band and all that stuff. I don't know if uh, you all know that. I, I at least know that about Sonic Underground. You know, it's Sonic and, you know, his siblings and all that stuff in band, and uh, Sonic plays the guitar, Manic does the drums, and then uh, what does Sonia do? I really can't recall what Sonia does. Does she sing? I think she sings. Something like that. 
Yo, listen to this. This is from something, but what? I don't know what that's from. Like, I heard it, I'm just like, this is definitely from something, but I can't recall what it is. What is it? Maybe that is Sonic CD. Huh. I can't recall. Anyway, though, um, let's go ahead and go to the boss real quick, and uh, let's let's see what's popping here. Let's see what's popping. Okay, Emerald Island boss. Whoa, no, no. I, one thing I will say is that I like the presentation for this game. Really, really awesome. Um, you know, just like the different designs and all that stuff with the zigzags and whatnot. And okay, four balls just chilling on the ground. What's popping? Okay. Oh, and we can actually hit him right now. But uh, wait, 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 wait. What the? Okay. Whoa. Calm your, calm yourself down, Eggman. Calm your, calm your balls. Okay, what is he? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We swoosing out, boys. Huh? Huh? Okay. Um. I feel like making a save state just in case. <laughs> God dang it. I know that the people are probably gonna be. Huh? Oh, error. Error. Oh, man. Okay, we got an error. That's not good at all. I don't know why. Uh, well, you know what? We got big balls. We're gonna do this the easy way. Alright. Oh my god, though. What the heck? So weird. Okay. So we gotta swoops right out when he drops his balls. And then get some... Okay, so last hit. Last hit. Um, yeah. Whoa, that was close. Okay. Alright. Oh wow, that came down really fast. God dang it. Oh my god. Ah! Whoa! What the heck? Ah! Okay, let's try this again, people. This is actually really difficult, though. Like, really, really difficult. Okay, if only Manic wouldn't be so useless. Oh, and that's a thing. Okay, that's a thing, too. Oh wow, he just dropped all his balls like literally right there. Okay. Come on. What the heck? Crap the balls. Oh god. Woo! There we go. That's one hit. God dang it! Okay, good. Okay, god. What? Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. What the heck is going on? Okay, good, good, good. There we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, here we go. Crap, and I can't hit him. Okay. I'm definitely, okay, so for all the people who are like, Oh my god, why do you keep getting hit, Kobe? I'm definitely taking advantage of the invincibility frames. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to abuse the mess out of them. As that is what we just did to get through that. Because good god almighty. Wow. That was intense. Dude. Woo! That's cool, though, that we actually did have a pretty difficult boss. You know, most fan games, it's like, there is like a somewhat difficult boss, but it's not like anything too crazy. What is this? I don't even know, but can I like switch characters? Or will it let me? Or nah, it's not going to let me. So what I may actually, hmm. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to actually quit here. Let's go ahead and save. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see here. So go ahead and save there. All right. Now I guess we're just going to have to make another save file and we're going to have to play with Manic now. So 
Alright, let's do this. Actually, I should have seen if I could have played with Manic with Sonic beside me, but, uh... I guess that wasn't available, so... Anyway, let's do this. Let's see what he's all about. So, okay, the A button's a drumstick, okay, then you have to jump here, then you got- Whoa! What the heck, hello? Okay, then you got yourself like a nice, uh, speed boost there, okay. That's what's up. That's actually cool. But, the, uh, the button being, like, different for the jump or whatever is definitely throwing me off, but... Dude, do you see, like, the after images this dude has? That's awesome. Okay. Sad thing is, he doesn't have any homing attack or anything like that, so you just kinda have to... You know, definitely abuse, like, the different powers that he has here, like, you know. Oh god, okay, there we go. But, I mean, we've played classic Sonic games, we don't need, we don't need a homing attack. It's just, you know, nice to have in this game or whatever. It makes it really, really fast-paced, way faster than any other classic Sonic game I've played in a while, to be honest. But, you know, it's not like we need it. Oh, wait a sec. Can I just keep pressing the B button while I'm on the ground? I actually can, wow. And I, I think it helps us maintain our momentum, and then we can press the A button while we are in that ball, and we can toss our drums or yeah, our drumstick. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna actually do uh, what? What do I want to do? I'll, I'll just do one more stage so y'all can get a better get a better idea again how Manic plays. Yeah, let me know down below who you like more, and if you like to see Manic return for another Sonic game in the future. Okay, so he actually doesn't even have a spin dash. He just has the instant dash, which, I mean, is cool. Wait, oops. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> like I said, it's really, really weird to play with this guy because... Ah, but you can use that so cool. Okay, look at that. Okay, so if you use it just at the right area, you can use all your momentum to get yourself a really, really big speed boost from the momentum because, I mean, it's just like... Yeah, he has like this really, really great spurt, and since he can trigger it at any time, it's like, yeah, like, it, it's crazy now that I think about it. Wow, that's good. Holy crap. They need something like this. Well, actually, they kind of... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I was about to say, please don't make me forget what the jump button is. <laughs> I was actually scared for a second. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh yeah, uh, well they do kind of have that with the drop dash and I guess the new Sonic Mania, so that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm just going to go and end it off here because, I mean, you all did get to see the, uh, what is around here though, actually? I wonder. Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, this is unfinished though, and I don't think the creator is going to work on it anymore. I think he passed it on to someone else. This is the fate of a lot of uh, Sonic fan games, but, you know... What is in here is pretty fun, and then we also had some other levels that we did not really uh, cover, so, you know, maybe I'll try those out another time or something like that, or, uh, you know, you all can try them out for yourself. But, um, as always, thank you all so much for the support, it really, really means a ton, and, uh, you know, like I said, trying to keep these weekly series as consistent as possible. I'm trying to get this up this week, I'm trying to get Smash Sundays up, and, uh, you know, Mod Mondays up as well, so... Just be on the lookout, and then uh, hopefully soon when I kind of can settle down a little bit, because when this goes up, I'm actually going to be out of town for SmashCon. Um, once I get to settle down, though, and I can actually sit down and record and plan things out and write up top five scripts and all that stuff, that's when then I'm going to bring back Kobe Plays on Saturdays, which was something I was doing um, for, you know, a few weeks back then when I was, you know, just feeling better about YouTube and... Uh, was just really really consistent and motivated and everything but yeah we're gonna we're gonna bring it this all back ladies and gentlemen and i want to thank you all for your patience but um anyway that's it for this video so thanks again for watching see you all have a good day peace republic of kobanermite and take care